Okay. About a little over a hundred years ago, uh, a Nobel Prize was given to Ramon y Cajal. So this guy it was amazing. He went and made drawings of brains and an exquisite level of detail. That's amazing. Today, our computers are making the drawings. We use computers running the whole weekend just to create this image. So what we were basically looking at is the entire fly brain, and we're now coding the different brain regions by a different color. And what you're also looking at is all of the synapses kind of highlighting the entire fly brain. This technology let us be the first to look at the brain at this resolution, at this size of volume, right? That has never been done before. So the magic of this is a combination of two aspects. We combined expansion microscopy that literally takes a small tissue and makes it larger. Expansion microscopy is uh, a technique that was invented in Boyden Group. Uh, instead of changing the microscopy side, the sample itself is expanded. And we combine that with a very high speed, very gentle uh, imaging technology, which is the lattice light sheet. Which was done by Eric Betzig. So that's a way in which you can create optical sections in the microscope. So what are the more interesting things that we have seen? I don't think I can say there's one particular thing, simply because there are so many things that came out that it's unbelievable, I would say. This is a small portion of the whole Drosophila brain, but it looks like a donut, and uh, we know how many neurons are inside, and you can see how complicated the neurides and the axons are intertwined with each other. My first feeling when I saw these images is, am I looking at subcellular details or am I looking at a very big tree with no leaves on it? But then I realized, hey, this is a neuron with dendritic spines sticking out of them. It was amazing to see the neurons and the axons and the spines, to simply see the complexity of this. That was just spectacular to, to be able to, to visualize that in such extreme detail. We can superimpose fly brain and specifically ask if I identify one neuron, how is that neuron organized in space in the other animals? So can we actually see the neurons aligned or not? Well, it is the case. We have done it. It's baffling. I must say, I think that's incredible. Those samples really demonstrate to the scientific insights we can have uh, using this scalable uh, imaging technology. It's a new window of knowledge. It's a window of exploring a space that is new. Um, I don't know what is the end. I don't know what is the limit. I think that's what is exciting for humans. This is an amazing time to be in this field uh, with access to this technology.